from being offered almost $20 million for the show to wanting to move on to other projects. The air around a potential Stranger Things spinoff is insanely mysterious, but today we set the record straight. Now, rumor has it that the Duffer brothers are currently cooking a spinoff series for Stranger Things. Don't get too excited, though, because none of it has come to pass yet. The rumor was started by the Sun, and lo and behold, all internet hell broke loose. Millie, who's only 19 years old, has played the role of Eleven in Netflix's most-watched show, Stranger Things, for about seven whopping years. According to the report, Millie would be reprising her role in a spin-off series. A way to protect Max. From here. and getting paid insane amounts of money for it too. The Sun reported that the offer on the table for her was over $12 million. And while the exact nature of the project is fully under wraps, there's no telling where the Duffer brothers could take the storyline. So much so that they haven't even told the cast members what it's about. But more on that later. As of yet, Brown doesn't seem to be interested in working on Stranger Things again. She's gone on record to say that she wants to move on. Honestly, if I started a job at 11, I'd want some changes at 19. Too. So, can we really blame her for wanting to explore new options? This is Max. When one attacks, he will be in her mind. But I can do that too. I went into Mama's mind, into Billy's. I can go into Max's. The fifth and final season of Stranger Things is suspected to be released by the end of 2024, making it a long AF commitment as is. But despite Millie not wanting to pursue the spinoff, the rumor did mention a pretty hefty sum. Is the actress really worth all that dough? And is she really the only one who can play the iconic Eleven? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you... Are you real? Did, did I make you? I'm real. It would apparently seem so. Hold up, I've got some solid backing up for this too. So Millie was only 11 years old when she started working in Stranger Things. Over the years, she's become a household Hollywood name. Not to mention the girl's the literal face of one of the most popular shows, like ever. She's not only received critical praise for her acting, but she's branched out into film production and even launched her own makeup line called Florence by Mills. And as per celebrity net worth, her net worth is about $14 million in 2023. Now that's a lot of money to accumulate at such a young age. Deadline reported that her salary for the first and second seasons of Stranger Things was around 30k per episode. If you touch her again, I will kill you again. Fast forward to the third season and the raging success the show had. Her salary was bumped to, drum roll, $250,000 per episode. Be right back, making my audition tape for Stranger Things Season 5. As of the fourth season, it is suspected that she earns around four hundred k per episode. So yeah, given the success the show and her movies have seen over the years, I'd say the girl's worth every penny. Oh, and by the way, I haven't even added what she makes on her side acting gigs and hustles. For the Netflix-based Enola Holmes film series, Millie has reportedly earned a $6.1 million base salary, on top of which she got paid $10 million for the sequel. What does she look like, Sarah? About this tall. Pretty. Very pretty. Green eyes. Red hair. Freckles. Red hair. Yep, she's that loaded. Factoring in her cosmetics line, which is always stocked up on Ulta Isles, just by the way, I'd say that the actress isn't going broke anytime soon. She's also featured on Time's list of the world's 100 most influential people, and was even appointed a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. Additionally, she's also starred in numerous luxury label campaigns. So a $12 million deal doesn't sound too unbelievable right about now. Apart from finances, the girl has some serious acting chops. And I'm not the only one saying that. Her portfolio of almost a dozen awards speaks for itself. And low-key my girl killed it in the second Enola Holmes movie. Why did Sarah Chapman do her makeup? 
full of secrets, that one. So she's got her skills to back up her high salary. Moreover, Stranger Things has amassed a sort of cult following over the years. For the creators to make a spin-off series with a change in casting may seriously not fly well with its loyal fans. I mean, I certainly don't want anyone else to play Eleven's character. That said, the actress doesn't really mince words when it comes to moving on to other projects. The final season of the Stranger Things franchise is reported to start filming in June. Four seasons and seven years and a pandemic later, Millie seems to be ready to wrap Stranger Things up and move on. She's gone on record to say that she's definitely ready to wrap up. She's also said that a lot of the story has been finished being told and that the show has been in her life for a very long time. Can't disagree with that. The actress said, I'm very ready to say goodbye to this chapter of my life and open new ones up. Being the boss producer that she is, Millie also wants to create stories for herself that are important to her and focus on the bigger picture of a career rather than a single show. Is it only me or does it look like the 19-year-old wants to run away from anything Stranger Things related? Well, not really, because she also later said that she was grateful for the show. As for future plans, I'm just as in the dark as you are. But while speaking to Seventeen magazine, she did express a desire to star in White Lotus, and maybe we'll see her in it in the upcoming season. I know I've got my fingers crossed. So getting back on track, what was it about the OG rumor, and how much of it is true? Well, back in 2022, showrunners for Stranger Things, Ross and Matt Duffer, announced that the fifth season of the show will grow into a spin-off series, since both of them have been hush-hush, leaving the audience speculating what will come next. Gotta be clean to enter the mind. What? No, no, it's a sensory deprivation tank. It helps her calm down and focus on her powers. And that's exactly how the rumor about 11 and $12 million came to life. None of it is real. Heck, we don't even know if the show will be based on the OG cast, what the narrative would be, or even if it'll follow the same timeline or not. On February 2nd, the Stranger Things writers quickly shot the rumor down, much to the disappointment of 11 stands such as myself. Their exact statement read, Yeah, there's nothing in this article that is true, quoting a The Daily Mail article, and even added a snarky comment about having to debunk the same rumor again and again. Well, while the press may have missed the mark, one of the original cast members hit the nail right on the head. Of all the people in the world, it was Finn Wolfhard, aka Mike Wheeler, who solved the puzzle. While appearing on The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon in January, the 20-year-old narrated the incident. Apparently, they were filming for season four of Stranger Things, and the entire cast was joking about the creators wanting them back in about 20 years. When it was Finn's turn, he proposed an idea of a spin-off. And apparently, it was the exact same thing that the Duffers had in mind. His guess was so spot on that they had to take him aside to talk to him, and even asked who told him their idea. That day onwards, the poor guy's been sworn to secrecy. And there you have it, the curious case of Millie Bobby Brown and the Eleven spin-off solved.